Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we are not going to the JRC. What we are going to be doing for this week, as you see on the screen here, is, well, morning our dead. March 1st is the day every year for what we call the Disability Day of Mourning. It is not something you're going to see on the news, local or national or even international. These are individuals who are victims who are, it's called suicide. Suicide is the murder of a person with a disability by their caregivers, parents, siblings, or significant others. It's never reported. It's a conversation that has literally never been had. But when we come to talk about violent crime that is perpetuated upon others, individuals with disabilities have the largest numbers of having violent crimes perpetuated upon us, sexual violence perpetuated upon us, being murdered for existing while disabled. These individuals deserve to have their names known and their stories told. I've included the link to the Disability Memorial page for 2022 in the description box. While we are talking about this, I want to take a moment to remember the six students dead because of the Judge Rotenberg Center. We are going to read their names to start out. And after that, we will go over the, the usual disclaimers and we will get started. We are going to go here onto the wiki page that many of us have been contributing to for a good long time. This is one of the earliest videos I did going over all of this. As you can see, so let's go over the deaths. 1980, 25-year-old Robert Cooper died of a hemographic bowel obstruction. The institution was criticized for driving him to the hospital in a private vehicle rather than calling for an ambulance. 1981, Danny Oswald, a 14-year-old boy with autism, died at JRC, then called the Behavior Research Institute, but was strained face down to a bed. The institute was not authorized to use restraints on its residents at that time and Oswald had previously had a rod surgically implanted in his back to treat a degenerative back disease that had resulted from his treatment there. The coroner's report concluded that Oswald had died of MR and cerebral malformation and recorded his death as from natural causes by ass. 1985, Vincent Militech, a 22-year-old man with autism, died at the Institute. He had been strained and forced to wear a white noisy mini sensory deprivation helmet while he died of asphyxiation after having an epileptic seizure. Militech had a history of epileptic seizures and had been made to wear the helmet as punishment for making inappropriate sounds. The judge who provided over a hearing on Militech's death declared that the two staff doctors were negligent for approving the therapy and that the center's director, Matthew Israel, had been negligent in authorizing the helmets used. Militech's mother said that she did not want to press charges against the Institute, but she did sue the JRC for $10 million. Good. 
1987, Abigail Gibson, a 29-year-old woman with seizure disorder, was detained at the Behavior Research Institute and subject to regular physical adversives by the program there. She had a heart attack in her room at night and died in two days later at the Sturdy Memorial Hospital. 1990, Linda Cornelson, a 19-year-old nonverbal and intellectually disabled resident, died of complications related to a ruptured bowel. At the time of her death, Cornelison was on a contingent food program where food was withheld as punishment for undesired behavior. In the days leading up to her death, Cornelison's expressions of pain were interpreted as misbehavior by staff who administered 56 physical adversives over five hours before calling the ambulance. Cornelison was unconscious when the ambulance arrived. An investigation into Cornelison's death conducted by the Massachusetts Department of MR reported the treatment was inhumane beyond all reason and violated universal standards of human decency, but failed to find enough evidence to link JRC to Cornelson's death. However, a Massachusetts court found in 1995 that the JRC had exhibited negligence. At the time of her death, Cornelson had been a resident of the Institute for seven years and had been subjected to 88,719 adversives. In 1998, disabled 16-year-old Silvero Gonzalez died in the Institute's custody. He was housed there for 11 months before making an attempt to free himself by jumping from a transport bus. He died from head trauma from the fall. His mother, Olga Cepeda, sued the center after his death. I read those names because you need to know how serious this is what these schools do. This isn't playtime for me. This isn't a hobby. It is necessary. Just because we dis are disabled does not mean that our lives are worse le Blah! worth less than yours. Now to the disclaimers, shall we? In the description box, you're going to find the link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by Autistics for Autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much they have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused, so you know the drill, folks. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. We also have linked in their Neuroclastic's public statement in regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding in case the JRC has the balls to see through with their threat. Got the... Link to the Ozarks' first article in regards to the Agape Boarding School slash Stone for Help Boarding School. This is a so-called Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that takes in so-called treble male teens that has in pending over 21 civil lawsuits, claims, and allegations leveled against it. These all in... I'll go over what they entail here in a moment. All of these claims have been, by the way, substantiated by the Missouri Department of Social Services with the hard evidence, including ER documents, to back them up, and they include sodomy, rape, sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking, starvation, and that's just for starters. You have one former staff member arrested by the FBI, another a doctor still on premises with full access to those boys up on multiple, again, substantiated claims of sodomy, rape, and sexual assault of the boys there. You have an attorney general too busy persecuting everybody else but pedophiles to actually care about what's going on in this school and the others like it. And you've got a governor who has gone off his nuts. So please share that article on all your social media. we got the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject. Jennifer Masemba's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses. A clip out of the seven-hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCollins back in 2002. The templates and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Now, 
since we're not discussing the GRC, I'm not going to put in the usual disclaimers, but I will say this. This, cha this channel is marked not for children for a reason. We use profanity, and especially today of all days, we speak on dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger, they are watching this very obviously. Excuse me. Parental supervision is advised. All right. Okay. So let's get started. The first is Lacey Fletcher. And from Slaughter, Louisiana, the United States, age 36. She died January the 3rd of 2022. The cause of death was medical neglect and pressure sores. Her disability was autism. Lacey's body was found sitting on a filthy couch at home. She had multiple pressure sores and infections and was underweight. According to the coroner who ruled her death a homicide, she had suffered at least a decade of neglect. Case status. Sheila Fletcher, mother, charged with second degree murder. Clay Fletcher, father, charged with second degree murder. And they have the sources there. Ranjeev Kumar and Vali Volvi Rikiari Fiji. And please forgive me if I butcher any of these. It's not my intention. He died January the 6th, 2022. They were 48 years old. They were stabbed. He was a wheelchair user. Ranjeev's brother in law killed Ranjeev. His sister, Ragni Narayan, and her son, Ravanesh Dio, before killing himself. Police say he was out on bail after being charged with rape. Ranjeev's niece, a year six student, managed to hide and survive the attack. Case status. David Narayan, brother-in-law, deceased. Aline Schrader, Wausau, Wisconsin. U.S. January the 8th, 2022, age 80. Cause of death, diabetic ketoacidios, disability, diabetes, and heart disease. In the last days of her life, paramedics were called to Tootie's home five times and reported that her granddaughter refused to let them check her vitals. After she died of diabetic ketosis and her granddaughter's Facebook posts were found to include claims that she had been reducing her grandmother's insulin and instead was giving her vitamins that she had been selling. Her granddaughter was arrested. This is why I'm get pseudoscience. It kills us every year. It's not a joke. Tootie and her husband played Santa Claus and Miss Claus every Christmas. Case static. Candice Sherhin Granddaughter charged with negligence, subjecting an individual at risk to abuse causing death. Paramjeet Singh, Beirut, Negar, Delhi, India, January the 9th, 2022. He was 30 years old. He was beaten to death. He was a quadriplegic after injury and traffic accident. Paramjeet's family came home to find him injured and brought him to the hospital, but it was too late and he died. They told the police that Paramjeet's father had come home drunk and beaten him with a wooden rod. Case status, Amjir Singh, father charged with murder. Mandy No, Jolly Springs, Tennessee, USA, January the 21st, 2022. Died age 38. Cause of death, unspecified homicide. Disability, intellectual disability. Mandy's uncle was in jail after a domestic dispute with her aunt, called the police and reported Mandy missing. Shortly after that, police say her uncle admitted to killing her and her aunt led them to the place where they had buried her. 
The country sheriff told reporters that Mandy's uncle had decided he couldn't handle her anymore because of her disability. Christopher Thompson, uncle charged with second degree murder and tampering with evidence. Jessica Thompson, charged with accessory after the fact to second degree murder, tampering with evidence, and filing a false report. Ashton Yap, Singapore. Aged 11. January the 21st, 2022. Cause of death, homicide. Location, Singapore. Disability, ADHD, autism. Ashton and Ethan were twin brothers whose bodies were found in a canal near a playground. Their father was arrested on suspicion of having killed them. Xavier Yap, young hound, father charged with two counts of culpable homicide. Ethan Yap, that would be the brother, also 11. Brenda Rains, Odessa, Texas, January 29th, 2022. Age 53, cause of death, starvation, disability, Down syndrome. Brenda's family allegedly left her alone for days at a time without feeding her or keeping her clean. She was found dead, severely underweight, having died from starvation. Case status, Christine Rains, Carlos, family member, caregiver, charged with murder and injury to a disabled person. Justin Rains, charged with murder and injury to a disabled person. Elvira Lura, charged with murder and injury to a disabled person. Jason Wilk, Michigan City, Indiana, USA, 34, February the 1st, 2022. Cause of death, sepsis, bed sores, disability, mental disability, mobility impaired. Jason was brought to the hospital in terrible condition with multiple untreated and badly contaminated pressure sores. He died several days later in the hospital from sepsis. His mother was arrested. Mary Lee Wilk charged with neglect of a dependent resulting in death. Jamie Garcia III, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, USA. Seven years old. Seven years old. February the 6th, 2022. Disability autism. Jamie was stabbed to death. And police arrested his mother on suspicion of having killed him. Karina Romero, mother charged with murder. Sorry, folks. Kemaljit Kaur, Mumbai, Maharashtra, India, February the 7th, 2022. Age 55, disability Down syndrome. Cause of death, laceration, blood loss. Jasper and Kamaljit were found dead at their home after Jasper's husband, Kamjil's father, reportedly called a family member and told her that he had killed them, that he did not want to see their pain. The family member called the police who made the arrest. Urshotam Singh Ganhuk, arrested and charged with murder. And that was same family. Edward Klesler, Elizaville, New York, USA, age 64, February the 7th, 2022. Cause of death strangled. Disability unspecified, vulnerable elder. Ed had been living with a couple for more than 20 years when he was found dead. Police suspect the couple of abusing him, stealing from him, and ultimately causing his death by strangulation. 
Cassandra Fisher, housemate charged with murder, endangering vulnerable elderly person, and grand larceny. Ryan Woods, charged with murder and endangering a vulnerable elderly person. Elvin Weller, Palm Springs, Florida, USA, age 62, February the 11th, 2022. Disability, mobility impaired, poor grip strength. Police were called to Melvin's home and found him dead on his kitchen floor, having been stabbed more than 140 times. Tell me again, women do not commit violence. Tell me again. His wife was arrested on suspicion of murder. The two were in the midst of divorce proceedings and had been working out how to split up the couple's real estate. After the divorce, Melvin planned to retire to Jamaica, where he had been born. Case status. Joan Burke, wife, pleaded guilty to second-degree murder, sentenced to 35 years. Toyoko Armano, Osaka, Japan, age 72, February the 13th, 2022. Aged 72, cause of death, asphyxia. Disability unspecified, bedridden. Police say Toyoko's husband called police and admitted to strangling her. When they went to her home, they found her dead and arrested her husband. Seiji Amarno, husband arrested on suspicion of murder. Forgive me if I butcher this. Beric Toque, BFA's Liege, Belgium. 16, February the 18th, 2022. Cause of death, gunshot. Disability, autism. Uke's father shot him with his hunting rifle, then killed himself. Fabian Pocket, father deceased. Amir Tabarzan, Houston, Texas, USA, 19, February the 20th, 2022. Cause of death, smothered. Disability, wheelchair user. Amir was found smothered by his father, who then took his own life. He was a recent high school grad, recent high school graduate. Amir Tarbazan, father deceased. Zaria Dixon, Dallas, Texas, USA. 25, February the 24th, 2022. Oh my God. Cause of death, strangled. Blunt trauma. Police took 76 minutes to respond to a 9-11 call. Zaria called emergency services using a translator service for the death, reporting that her ex-boyfriend had broken into her house, beaten her up, and tried to stab her. She asked the police to come and help her, but the police took more than an hour to respond, and when they finally arrived, they found Zaria murdered. Zaria enjoyed teaching others sign language. Case status, Taj Pinson, ex-boyfriend charged with murder. Riley Kalino, Auburn, New York, USA, February 25th, 2022. Age of death, 17. Cause of death, death in setting of neglect, severe bed sores. Location, Auburn, New York. Disability, Rett syndrome. When Rayleigh died, hospital personnel noticed she had severe untreated bed sores and called the authorities who arrested Rayleigh's parents. Rayleigh leaves behind three younger brothers and two younger sisters. She loved the cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants and would watch it as much as she could. 
Many of her things were SpongeBob saved. Case steady. Jennifer M. Plino, mother charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Brian T. Burns, mother's fiance, charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Gopahand, Nalganda, Telangana, India, age 14, February the 26th, 2022. Cause of death, missing, presumed dead, drowning, disability blind, mentally ill. Witnesses who were part of a huge crowd of bystanders report seeing Gopa Chen's mother push him into a canal because he was troubling her too much. Several people tried to rescue the boy, but he was swept away by the strong current and is presumed dead. In the Shalja, a mother charged with attempted murder. Five-year-old boy. In Xi'an, South Korea. March 15, 2022. Cause of death, strangled. Intellectual disability. This five-year-old boy was strangled by his father, who was his sole caretaker. His father sentenced to five years in prison in 80-hour child abuse prevention program. Jesus Christ. Rosemary Webster, La Quinta, California, USA, age 85, March 16, 2022. Cause of death, blunt trauma, disability, dementia. Rosemary died from a severe building, beating police. Say her daughter called him and reported that Rosemary had wanted to go visit a relative, though it was no longer safe for her to drive, and that she had snapped and beaten Rosemary severely, tied her up, and left her and found her dead in the morning. Sally Martha Webster, daughter, charged with murder. Trayshawn Brown, Beckley, West Virginia, seven years old, March 18th, 2022. Cause of death, blunt trauma, disability, autism. Trayshawn's mother's boyfriend attacked Trayshawn with a hammer and stabbed his mother. Trayshawn's mother ran to a neighbor who was able to save Trayshawn's little sister but couldn't save Treshawn. Neighbors remember that Treshawn as a nice kid who used to ride his bike around the apartment building. Rash Rico Thompson, mother's boyfriend, convicted of first-degree murder, maliciously wounding, child abuse resulting in death, and two counts of domestic battery sentenced to 35 years to life. Catherine Newhouse, Canton, Georgia, USA, 19, was murdered on March the 19th, 2022. Cause of death, shooting, autism, mental illness. Katie's father shot her and then killed himself. When she was 16, her father had been arrested and charged for holding her down on her bed by her throat. Catherine's friends remember her as a kind young woman who was always smiling, even when life became difficult. Case stated Howard Newhouse, father deceased. Thomas Conley, Sherman, Connecticut, USA, age 63, March 20th, 2022. Head injury, blood loss, cause of death. Disability anemia, alcoholic liver disease. Thomas's husband allegedly hit him in the head. Already weakened by poor health, Thomas died from blood loss from several scalp wounds. Jason Murhog, husband, charged with murder and evidence tampering. Helen Lawry. Cromer, England, UK, aged 83, April the 4th, 2022. 
cause of death, head injury, disability, dementia, mobility impaired, speech impaired, low vision. Helen's husband killed her before taking his own life. Helen was a member of the Royal Kroner Golf Club. She owned hair salons and taught hairdressing. Case status, Alexander Lawry, husband, deceased. I'll be right back. Heather Banyard, Gaffney, South Carolina, 8-14, April 11th, 2022. Cause of death, neglect. Disability, cerebral palsy. Heather arrived at the hospital unresponsive and was soon declared dead. Police examined her home, discovered that she'd been kept in filthy conditions, on autopsy, the coroner reported that she had been severely neglected for many months, causing her medical condition to worsen and eventually become fatal. Heather loved music, especially Mikey Manson and Disney Jr. She liked pretty lights, bright colors, and traveling. David Jean Baynard charged with murder. Bobo Joe Baynard, mother, charged with murder. Edward Baynard, brother, charged with murder. Megumi Yamada, Naka, Ibaraki, Prefecture, Japan, age 46, April the 13th, 2022. Cause of death, suffocation. Disability, unspecified bedroom. Megumi's mother turned up at the police station and allegedly confessed to killing her, saying that she was tired of taking care of Megumi. Police investigated and found Megumi dead in her home. She had been strangled and smothered with plastic wrap. Fumiku Yamada, charged with murder. Mr. Chin, Arushi Shangua, country, Taiwan, age 64, April the 15th, 2022. Cause of death, strangled. Disability stroke. Mr. Chin was strangled and his brother was arrested for the crime. Police say he had killed Mr. Chin and attempted to kill himself because he was tired of caring for his brother. Case status, Mr. Chin, brother arrested. Richard Rutherford, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Age 87, April the 15th, 2022. Disability, mobility impaired, cognitive decline. Richard died the victim of homicide. His husband was arrested and charged with his murder, which is being called a mercy killing. Richard was a former principal dancer in the Royal Winnipeg Ballet, who worked with the Canada Council for the Arts, and after he retired as a dancer. In his elder years, he tended his garden and watched the birds and chipmunks that came to his feeder. Case status, Felipe Hebert, husband charged with second degree murder. Garija, Melakode, Kerala, India, age 68, April the 21st, 2022. Cause of death, strangled, bedridden. Garija was found dead by her son. She had been strangled. Police arrested her husband, who they suspect of killing her before injuring himself non-fatally. Sadavizan. Nair, husband, hospitalized, will be arrested when his injuries are treated. Bailey Cowell, Toledo, Ohio, USA, age 18, April the 24th, 2022. Disability functionally impaired. Bailey was found dead in her home. 
police who arrested her mother says that she had been left immobile, allowing pressure sores to develop, that she was dehydrated and should not have been taken to medical appointments. Shelly Gangta, mother, charged with involuntary manslaughter. Stephen Earl, South Bend Township, Minnesota, USA, aged 59, April the 27th, 2022. Disability, unspecified disability. Stephen called the police asking for help because his son had a knife and was becoming violent. When police arrived, they found that he had been stabbed multiple times, but was still conscious and able to tell him that his son had stabbed him. He rushed to the hospital but died in surgery. The morning after the attack, he had texted a friend saying that his son was becoming more controlling and was taking his phones away. Case status, Travis R. L. Son, charged with second degree murder. We're gonna stop here for this video. It's hard to get through these, but I feel it's necessary to do so. These people deserve to have their stories known and their names remembered. People deserve to know that their lives mattered. And they deserve that hell of a lot better than me. They deserve better. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. Please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time. As always, hope you have a good one. Trick or warning for the next video. This is what, what we're doing this week. Bye-bye, everyone.